darkened room that is so dark, it's like pitch black, that you can't see the walls, you can't see where it ends, where it begins, because it's so dark. But you have this one little flashlight in your hand. You have this little handheld flashlight, and you use this little flashlight to navigate your way around the room. So when you're with your flashlight, all you can see is what you see with the beam of this flashlight. So let's say if your flashlight is shining there, you see that picture. But you can't see anything else around the room because it's just one little flashlight with a narrow beam. Now let's pretend that the walls of the room are lined from floor to ceiling with shelves. And on the shelves are all kinds of different things. There are books, there are objects, there are toys, there are cups, there are just all kinds of different things. Beautiful things, things that you really want, maybe some things you don't really want, but these walls are just lined with shelves which have all these things. And your flashlight will shine on something and that's the only thing that you can see because everything is in darkness. And then maybe tomorrow or maybe a moment later your flashlight is focused on something else. And in that moment, that's all you can see because your flashlight is focused on it and everything else is in darkness. Now imagine one day the lights go on and then it's the first time you see everything all at once. And you never realize that all these things exist simultaneously. Because when your world, when your world view was just through this one flashlight, you thought that all that existed in that moment was the one thing you could see with the flashlight because everything else was in darkness. But now for the first time, with the floodlights on, you can see everything and you're like, oh my gosh, they all exist simultaneously. And now you're seeing things that you've never seen before because your flashlight never shone on them. And you're seeing the things that you have seen before. And you're seeing all the beautiful things and the things you love and the things you didn't love so much all exist simultaneously. And it's the first time you realize, wow, they all exist. Even when I didn't know it was there, it was there. But I didn't know because my flashlight wasn't focused on it. So now imagine if the lights go off again and you're back to one flashlight and you can only see one thing at a time. At least you know that a lot more exists than the one thing that your flashlight is focused on. At least you're aware of that. So the flashlight is an analogy for your awareness. It's your awareness. In this physical reality, we have the tendency to believe that reality is whatever we are aware of in this moment. We think that's all of reality. In actuality, so much more exists than what we're aware of. But just because your flashlight is not focused on it, at this moment doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means you're not experiencing it right now, but you could experience it in the next moment. And we tend to think the only thing that exists is what our flashlight is focused on. And my flashlight might be focused on one thing, and yours might be focused on something that's completely the opposite or very different. Mine could be focused on love, Yours could be focused on fear. And we could argue about reality. I could say, no, reality is all about love. It's so beautiful. And you could say, no, it's really fearful. It just depends where your awareness is focused on. And there's a little game I play um, which really helps to bring this subject home. And I'm going to ask you to play, play this with me. And for those of you who've tried it before, if you've seen my TED talk or heard me speak before, you'll know it, but just play along with me for those that haven't. So I'd like you to look around the room and find everything in the room that's any shade of orange or red, reddish orange, 
any shade of red charge and commit it to your memory, including the clothes that people are wearing. And commit it to your memory. You Play know, along at home. Just any shade of reddish orange or red, dark red, light red. And commit it to your memory because I'm going to test you on it. Okay? As many as you can. As many things as you can. Okay, face the front. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No cheating. Now I want you to recollect as many things in the room as possible that are blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So open your eyes. Look around. I see a beautiful gentleman sitting right there in blue. And are there things under your nose that you missed? Did you miss things? Are there a lot more things than you thought when I said recollect in blue? Yep. This is what we do. When we're focused on one thing, that's what we'll see. Because our minds have a tendency to find what we believe. Our minds have a tendency to confirm what we believe. So if you believe that you live in a dangerous, fearful world, that's what your mind will focus on and that's what you will see more of. Just like when you were focusing on the red, that's what you saw. Even though the blue exists, maybe there's more blue in the room than red. But you didn't even see it because you were focused on the red. That's what we do. If our televisions, our uh, advertising, our politicians, our education, if they keep telling us, focus on the fear, focus on the fear, that's all we're going to see. But if we keep reminding each other, focus on the love, focus on the love, that's what we'll see. Even our, even our health care system. Just think of all the campaigns we have at the moment, what we call cancer awareness campaigns. All those cancer, the trillions of dollars that we spend on cancer awareness campaigns, cancer research, on advertising cancer and cancer awareness and telling us one in three people are going to get cancer. And Think of all the ads and the campaigning and everything that we do for cancer. Now imagine if we spent the same amount of money, the same amount of energy, the same amount of awareness in spreading what it means to live life in a healthy, healthy, joyful way where we can be physically, mentally, emotionally healthy. If we spread that awareness, what does it mean? What does it take to do that? If we taught people how to do that, because most people don't know. If we did that instead, what a different world we'd see.